Let's make a power move together with Bite Beauty's new hydrating soft matte lipstick. Hi, my name is Muniza and I make beauty related videos just like this one. So if this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing to be a part of the SAS fam. Out of the 20 bold and vibrant shades, I got shade Chai and this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. In terms of opacity, I would say it is 90% opaque when I apply the lipstick on my hand on top of a moisturizer. Now to apply onto the lips, Bite Beauty just using their Agave Plus Weekly Lip Scrub before applying the lipstick. And here you can see the opacity and the color of the lipstick and nothing on this side. On this side, I'll apply my Burt's Bee Lip Balm before applying the lipstick. And this is what it looks like on top of a lip balm and just on its own without applying anything underneath or on top of the lipstick. The lipstick just glides like butter on my lips and the cocoa butter definitely makes my lips feel hydrated but obviously not as much as this side where I applied the lip balm underneath the lipstick. And then in terms of opacity, I feel like this side again where I applied the lip balm, the lipstick is more opaque and vibrant in color but other than that as I mentioned in my first impressions video the Bite Beauty hydrating soft matte lipstick feels very comfortable and lightweight let's do a quick kiss test and just a little bit has transferred onto the back of my hand let's also do a transfer test on a clean tissue paper And again, just a little bit has transferred on the tissue paper as well. So I'll check back in after breakfast in a couple of hours to see if the lipstick fades or bleeds. So it's been about like two and a half hours since I applied the lipstick. And if you look up close, you can see the lipstick does seem to have faded off ever so slightly. But from afar, you can't tell because the lipstick does seem to leave a bit of a stain on the lips. Eight hours later and the lipstick from afar actually looks great because of the stain and then if you look up close you'll see the lipstick hasn't bled but it has faded some more and it's making my lips look dry but they don't actually feel dry. My final thoughts on the new Power Move Hydrating Soft Matte Lipstick by Bite Beauty is that for 37 Canadian dollars plus tax I'd say it's worth it and in terms of ratings I'll give it like four and a half stars because even though it does fade it leaves behind a stain so as long as someone isn't like right up in your face they won't notice a difference um, it also doesn't bleed which is great if you're in a hurry or you just don't want to go through a 10 step process of prepping and lining your lips before applying a lipstick it is hydrating and has a good color payoff especially if you apply it on top of a lip balm like I did and as you saw there was minimal transfer transfer on the tissue so you don't have to worry about your lipstick coming off on a face mask. Um, it also doesn't transfer on the teeth like some lipsticks do so you don't have to be self-conscious about that while talking to people or even just smiling for pictures. Now if you like the concealer and the mascara that I'm wearing in this video you can click here to check out my review on the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara or here to check out the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener Concealer and I'll see you there. Also, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to be a part of the SAS fam.